Welcome to this tutorial video of the link between Koala and Caramba IDEA. For the past couple of months, Vladimir and I have been working together to link both of our plugins within one Grasshopper script. This will allow users to fully integrate global and detailed analysis of the steel structure into one parametric model. Vladimir is a software developer at SIA responsible for the development of the Grasshopper plugin Koala. And my name is Ryan and I work for Bauma Style, where I develop the Grasshopper plugin Caramba IDEA which allows you to parametrically create steel connections that can be analyzed with IDEA Statica. In this video, we will give you a step-by-step -step explanation on how the example file works so that you can modify it to the preferences of your project. Thank you, Ryan, for the introduction. Let's get directly to the script. As you see in this picture, the script of the example file is divided into different clusters based on the logic of the functionality that's happening there. We start with uh, inputting values and uh, this can be of course changed by anyone. Uh, the input is then processed in order to give the pro proper list of cross sections, beams and also list of hinged beams or list of loaded beams. SIA engineer file is then created gathering all these inputs and also some extra. Analysis is then conducted by SCA engineer and the component gathers results. The results together with the model data, including materials, cross sections, etc., are then parsed in a specific way to fit the Caramba IDEA model. The Caramba IDEA model then creates a structure which can be then checked by IDEA. The model can be then iteratively optimized. In this case, we have Galapagos and Anemone. Let's now continue directly in Grasshopper. First, you can see that the define topology of the, of the structure is fairly simple. It's just a 2D truss, but this script, when adapted properly, will work for any, any project. The outcome of the first cluster you can see are types of members in a separate components and uh, list of supported nodes. These input data needs to be processed in, before they can reach SCA engineer. So first, based on the different topology entities, we you can see here them sorted also in hierarchic order from top chord to diagonals, which will be later used for Caramba IDEA plugin. You can see that for each, we assign a different cross section. Besides cross sections, we can also specify list of beams that contain hinges at their ends, which are in this case all diagonals and verticals, and also beams that contain some loads. For cross sections definition, please take interest in these clusters. There are three types of uh, input that we accept here in this example. You can either find a list of cross sections by anemone iterative approach, by Galapagos, or by hard input. By default, the, the inputted values are, are the default so that only one analysis is always run. When you want to run iterative optimization, make sure that you also switch from the button to the toggle so that the analysis can run in loops. Besides cross sections and beams, the Grasshopper definition of the SCA engineer file contains supports, list of load cases and load groups, as mentioned already, list of hinged beams, list of load impulses in different load cases, and prescription of linear combinations. Some of these data are directly used later for parsing the model into the Caramba IDEA. Next is the analysis. When the model is created by pressing this button, in this case, analysis is launched right away. For running the analysis, you not only need SCA engineer, but you also need a template file, which is essential. And also, in this case, you need to also specify the output file. I always recommend storing the results in form of Excel file, because then they are the best readable. After analysis is performed, you can see that here are clusters that uh, parse the input data 
like the cross sections into the form that is applicable for Karamba idea. Same for materials, definition of eccentricities of beams, also LCS rotation of each beam, and also, most importantly, a cluster that reads internal force is exported from analysis of the engineer that transforms it in the correct format for Karamba idea. Let's now have a look at the calculation itself. If you press the button, the export file for SCI Engineer is automatically created and fed to SCI Engineer. Analysis starts at the same time. For this structure, the analysis can take some time. And when finished, we will see that results and the definition file are created in the specified folder. Let me now move a little bit back and to explain what is the reason and content of these files that are created. So the analysis creates an output file. Here in this case you can see an Excel file because I define it so and it contains a list of load cases with the results and also a list of combinations again with the results of in this case steel check per each combination. The important aspect is that all these results are predefined in the template file. So let's have a look at the template. As you can see, the template seems empty. There are no beams, even no cross sections or anything. Everything is defined by Grasshopper, but the export. To, to understand the export format, we need to open the engineering report. There is only one defined. There always must be only one defined. Otherwise, the script will throw an exception. And in the report, you can see that even though I have no load cases or combinations defined, I can assign combination tables. They are going to be empty for now. But when the combinations are created by the Grasshopper script, the tables are going to be populated. And in this system, a table is going to be created for each combination of a given format and we are going to gather a list of internal forces per beam and also a list of values of the steel check per cross section. You can always verify the structure exported by the Grasshopper components by using the other files created can see here an XML file is available in the temp folder. So this temp file can be updated to the template file. I go for temp, there is just one, and I can see the file opened right away. In this case, it contains already optimized structure. So you can see that uh, the compressive diagonals near the ends are thicker. The thickest is the top cord because it is not restrained against buckling and you can calculate this in CI engineer and view results. Let me finish the part about CI engineer by showing you how to plug the optimization loop and get results. First let's plug the cross sections defined by the Anemon plugin which would run iteratively the check starting with cross section of default zero position in the list from this list. So we start with the smallest cross sections. And when the cross section check is not satisfied, it will increase the cross section until all the cross sections are OK and the most efficient ones. In order to run the iterations, Instead of clicking on the button to start, we need to plug the, the toggle. Now the iteration finished, so we can have a look at the outcome. You can see that here are recorded lists of uh, results when the last iteration provides a list of cross sections that match the most economic one. In this example, there is the anemone and galapagos. Anemone is suitable 
for finding, let's say, the auto design of beams, such as the task we've just carried out, Galapagos seems more suitable for optimization of the overall shape of the beam. We included both these approaches in the example for your convenience. Now let's have a look at the part of Caramba Idea. Thank you, Vladimir. So what Vladimir mentioned is that all data is retrieved here, which is needed to create the, uh, the connection analysis. While using this template, the only thing you need to consider is assigning appropriate group names to all members uh, available in your project. So in the beginning of the video, Vladimir mentioned that there were uh, five types of clusters. And here we will define for every member type uh, to which cluster it belongs. Uh, so different names are specified, uh, like top core, bottom core, post, diagonal. And diagonal is actually there in twice since these two clusters are of, the ide of an identical group. So later we can use these names to define a hierarchy. Uh, every steel structure has a hierarchy. It determines how beams are connected to one another, which one are continuous and which one are uh, are ended and connected to that continuous one. With the hierarchy, you can uh, actually influence this, uh, this as a user. So once this is set, the first thing you can do is visualize the types of connections that you have in your project. So if we look at the Rhino screen, we see all these types of connections uh, which are available in the project. And we filter them by a certain brand name. So the brand name consists out of the index of the connected members and their hierarchy. So 00233 um, uh, defines or relates to uh, top court, uh, two top courts, a post, and two diagonals. So this, uh, these indexes are, uh, are ordered in chronological order, and this will allow you to identify similar connection types. This saves you the work of defining a template uh, of every single connection. Instead of this, we can now uh, determine a template for one group, and this will uh, make life uh, much easier. So with Four templates in uh, total, we could uh, uh, detail the whole structure. So the next step is then to define a template. And in this case, we will select this pre-programmed template that will weld all ended members onto the uh, continuous member. And we will apply this for uh, 00233, which relates to this connection type. So then we can now we have a connection and we have a template being applied. This will allow us to calculate this connection. And in here, by selecting uh, this component, the connection we have selected is being highlighted in green, which is kind of difficult to see currently in the top window. But if I drag the window around, you should be able to see the type of connection. You can also uh, press on this. Uh, green cylinder to have a better view and uh, make a, by that a better selection of which connection we want to analyze. So we select uh, connection number seven and once we're okay with that we will hit the run button. So now the, analyze, the analysis has finished and uh, let's uh, open the file we just uh, created and calculated as a proof of, uh, of concept. So this is actually what the connection looks like we've just calculated and you can see here that all members are connected to the continuous member. Um, for this uh, example we just analyzed one connection but of course we could analyze all uh, connections once all four uh, different uh, typologies have been uh, provided with a certain template. Thank you, Ryan, for showing rest of the script. And for all of you who had been watching this video, thank you for your attention. You can find the example file together with the template project in the description below. Thank you and talk to you in another event or webinar. Have a great day.